All right, so this will be a uh, 20 minute, 15 mile drive with a uh, full self drive version, what is it, 12.5.4. SD 12.5.4 and right now we're in the possum which is a 2023 Tesla Model X and we are going up to CTC up to Stellantis to check out some real life fill testing with uh, fuel fill testing with some of the uh, 3d pin printed filler pipe parts that I made for them um, so first time that starfish innovations has made some uh, parts that are actually going to be tested with fuel made gas tank parts before but those were just uh, assembly mock-ups but this will be the uh, the first really functional test so I'm excited to see how that goes it's with the uh, resin 3d printed uh, clear transparent resin so we can record video of it and like watch what the fuel does and compare it to simulation results. So, it's a um, 13 mile, uh, 15 mile total, about 13 more miles. 15 minute drive, it'll be uh, a couple miles of city driving, then mostly highway until we get up to the tech center here followed by some city driving.
lights are coming up on the highway here. If it was me, I would already be getting over in the left lane, but I do see there's some construction up here, so. You should follow these other cars. Time is one forty. been noticing on on the highways like when it goes through these long sweeping turns like that it's <clears throat> it's it's actually been like this ever since I've gotten the car in uh, December of last year um, it hangs out it's more biased towards one side of the lane I don't feel like it's always biased towards the driver's side, but lots of times it will actually, um, the tire 
if you're watching this display down here, but you can see the tire actually coming off the display or off the the tire crosses the line. Sorry, I'm watching the display and driving and talking at the same time. Um, it just it doesn't seem to hold the car in the center lane as well as it did on the Model 3. I don't know if that's because this is a bigger vehicle and it's more prone to being pushed around by the wind. It's the first time I've seen a Model Y towing something like that. But yeah, on the uh, Model X, it's it doesn't seem to hold itself in the center of the lane as well. And several times I've noticed on those long sweeping turns, it will the tire will actually cross the lane, so it's like you're leaving your lane with the vehicle. Nothing that I would say has been dangerous, but it's one of those things that makes you want to reach out and overcorrect right away, but then you realize the car eventually gets itself going in the right way, but I don't know. Alright, so coming up on our exit here, a mile to go. Start. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Alright, so we got some merging traffic here, followed by this is kind of a tricky merge, but we should do okay with it. Take the exit. to go because <clears throat> parking here I have this autopilot already built in to know where the best parking spots are and it looks empty today
wait for this guy to steal my parking spot. Auto park. And we text Charlie to let him know we're here. I am here. So I'm gonna bring in some extra 3D printed goods to show off because uh, this guy, is, I think he's into 3D printing too, so should be a good uh, networking opportunity. All right, all for now. Thanks, guys.